Well, there's no raining on Paolo Montalban's parade. Not only is he bringing back the Cinderella magic, this time as King Charming, but he's also back on Broadway, joining the hit Funny Girl revival. Welcome. So good to see you. Thank you so much for having me, Sarah. It's really great to see you up close and personal. I know. Back at you. <laughs> Listen, you're doing the show now. I mean, eight shows a week, an amazing show. Funny Girl is... You know, it's already up and running. It's so successful. What is it like for you to step into a show that's already going? Everyone's kind of got their groove. Sure. Well, uh, I'll tell you right now, uh, showing up for work every night and every matinee feels like going to a rock concert, but you're on the other side of the rock concert. Yeah. You get to witness the audience really going through it. Um, what it was like for me going into the show, I've never done this before. I've never gone into a role. You've originated. I've originated roles. Yeah. Um, I've started with companies from the beginning. Uh, so it was challenging at first, but I got so much support and so much love from the company. Uh, and I was I was set to succeed from the very beginning Amazing. because of them. Yeah, and yeah. you play theater impresario Zieg Ziegfeld. Yes. Um, so for those who don't know Funny Girl, kind of tell them how he fits into the story of Fanny Bryce. Right. So uh, Fanny Bryce uh, is a story about this Jewish comedian who was coming up in the ranks of uh, vaudevillian theater. She was a star on her own. And then she got the call from Florence Ziegfeld, who was the equivalent of the theater god of the time. You yeah. know, there's a big joke of like, Broadway's calling. And yeah. at this time, he would send telegrams to people. He said, Fanny Bryce, you show up at the New Amsterdam Theater at 4 o'clock in the afternoon sharp. And she knew at that point that she was going to be a, a huge star. Yeah. Oh, I love that. So you're kind of a catalyst for the story. Yes, a little bit. <laughs> um, but listen, you know, there, a few fans have posted pictures of, of you with them at the stage door mm. and noting, you know, how amazing it is, how important it is to see an Asian American on stage on Broadway in a show like this. I mean, does it just give you like that added uh, it's significance to doing this role. Absolutely, and I'll tell you this right now: it's it's not just Asian Americans; it's it's all uh, uh, audience members of color. They just feel seen and represented on yeah. stage, and, and a lot of them are actual uh, theater majors themselves, and uh, gives them the hope uh, that their dreams can come true yeah. if they apply themselves. Yeah, you also posted some things, too, about thanking everybody in the, from the hair and makeup to the stage to the yeah. crew, to, you know, and it feels like there's just gratitude pouring out of you. I mean, is this something that you practice, or is it is it something that comes difficult to you? I don't imagine that's the answer, but... <laughs> All right, well, this is, it's actually funny that you brought that up, because I actually brought this today. This is not a book play. Uh, I brought it, so I do this five-minute journal every morning. It's a yeah. gratitude journal. Uh, you write down three things. I did not things. know he was going to do this, by the way. So, you write down yeah. three things that, that you're thankful for, three things that would make the day great, and then your daily affirmation. And you're not going to believe this, because this is before you guys even brought it up. I wrote down that what would make today great to be a charming, articulate storyteller on NBC New York Live with Sarah Gold. Oh, I love it. I made the daily this? journal. I love that. I love that. Yeah. But wait, so speaking of charming, you're uh -huh. playing King Charming in Disney's Descendants. You're, you're coming back 25 years later to, to reprise this role, not as Prince Charming, but as King Charming. Tell me about it, what, what it's like to be a part of that. Absolutely. So uh, first of all, it's, it's almost like seeing what the happily ever after is in the happily ever after. So this is, this is tracking the story of Chloe, who's the daughter of Cinderella and King Charming, and the daughter of the Queen of Hearts. And, um, and it just basically shows like what an incredible, ambitious, athletic um, a young lady this is and, and how she goes out into the world. Oh, I love that. I got to show my kids. Thank you so oh, much for stopping come. by. Oh, thanks for having me. I got to come see you in Funny Girl <laughs> and you can too, playing now at the August Wilson Theater. Paolo, thank you so much. You're so good at this. You're so good too. <laughs>